The editor gives you a shot that's pretty flat, you don't know the color space, you don't have a LUT, and you have to composite in a new poster. So you comp in the poster, and now you need to make it match. The easiest way would be to take the background and color correct it into a more normal space using input black, input white, gamma, and hue and saturation. And maybe just for some good measure, we'll take some green out, and the background and foreground are going to match much better. At this point, it should be relatively easy to color correct and make the graphics match a little more with the footage. So you render this out and you get fired because the footage was supposed to go back to the editor with the exact same color that you were given. So what do we do? Well, it's easy. The reason why I chose these effects is because they're reversible. I'm going to copy them, make a new adjustment layer, and paste. And while it probably doesn't matter very much, we'll put them in the reverse order that they were applied in on the bottom. And reversing them is easy. To reverse gamma, just take the gamma value and divide one by it. So one slash enter. And that gamma has been reversed. For saturation, make the value negative. Let's reverse the gamma here. One divided by. And to reverse input black and input white, you would copy input black to output black and copy output black, which is zero to input black. Same thing here. So the input white value is around 0.5 and that's gonna go here to the output white value, which is one. And I'm gonna take that value of one and bring it back here to the input white value. And there's your flat shot. Now, of course, let's test this and make sure we did everything correctly. I'm going to duplicate this background layer and bring it over the top and delete the effects. Then I'm going to set it to difference. So difference is basically comparing every pixel from on this layer to what's beneath it. And it's showing black where it's exactly the same and showing the color value offset where it's different. As you can see, as we brighten this up, there is no difference. Each of these three effects was perfectly reversed and we have a perfect match to the original footage. Just make sure you're in 32-bit mode. The added benefit this has is that all of your effects are going to behave a little bit more predictably when your footage looks like this versus this.